Hey, what's up guys? John here, and for my last volunteer project while I was in Africa, I flew from South Africa to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is a place where I've been a couple times before. It's known for spectacular wildlife in Victoria Falls. This program in Zimbabwe is incredibly special, and I'll let my friends Rob and Morgan tell you a little bit more about it. Hi, I'm Morgan. And I'm Rob, and we're from Australia. And we're the volunteer coordinators at VSA's new program in Zimbabwe. This project has a big focus on black rhino breeding and conservation. We've actually successfully bred and released several black rhino back into the wild. Day to day, the volunteers are involved with the immediate care of our resident elephant and rhino. And they also see a great deal of what it takes to run a conservancy in a greater sense. Now, whenever you go overseas to volunteer, you want to know that your money is going to a good place. At this program, you get a lot of up close and personal encounters and hands-on experience with different wildlife. But it goes so much deeper than that because you really get to weave yourself into the fabric of a community. The Conservancy, which we work within, currently employs 450 local Zimbabwean people, which given the climate that we exist within, that's quite an extensive number of families which are directly impacted by the reserve and directly benefit from what we're doing here with the volunteer program, with the rhino breeding. I think it's a, a very impressive place to be involved within and we're very lucky to be a part of that in a bigger picture as well. Each morning we'd start out pretty early, we'd leave the volunteer house at about 6.30 and we'd go out rhino trekking. So we'd go out into the bush looking for black rhino and getting to observe them in their natural habitat. On several of the mornings we were lucky enough to get to see a mother and a baby rhino. We did have to be careful not to get too close, but we could just sit and watch them. It was so peaceful, and getting to see the love and the bond between a mother and a baby rhino, I can't even describe in words what that felt like. I mentioned before this facility employs over 400 people. A lot of the staff live there on site and a lot of them have small children. So every day when we'd go to feed the rhinos, we would be greeted by these happy smiling children. <laughs> We got to spend a lot of time with them doing different activities like coloring or just playing. And one day we took them out on a game drive so they could see all the animals. <laughs> we also did a lot of other fun things like getting to run the practice course that the anti-poaching team uses. Yes! <laughs> and that was hilarious. Good morning, guys. It's another beautiful morning here in Zimbabwe. We just finished scooping some elephant poop, but now we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna go have breakfast with the elephants. about this program for me, getting the hands-on experience with the elephants. You get to walk with them, have breakfast with them. It's just like an amazing experience. It's so surreal to see how big they actually are in person. 
It was just so amazing to see the diversity of the different elephants and their different personalities and just being so up close to them was just like really, really special. It all felt very relaxed and very natural and that's such an important thing whenever you're doing any activities with animals. For me, the biggest thing about this program is the fact that it is so community focused. I love the fact that they incorporate so much of the local people and their culture. On one of the nights, we had a woman that came in and taught us all about the local Shauna culture. She taught us how to make some of the traditional Shauna food. We ate, we sang songs, we asked her questions, and she told us all about her history. It was a really nice night. I read all the comments, I get a lot of questions from you guys, and oftentimes you want to know, why should I pick this program over another one? Is this legitimate? Where is the money going? Those are all great questions. This facility is basically like the beating heart of the community. Everything that they're doing is helping not only the wildlife, but also the people. They're providing employment for so many people in a place where employment is at an all-time high. They're providing opportunities and teaching skills to a lot of the local people, and it's incredible to know that just by going there, just by participating, not only are you helping out the wildlife, but you're doing so much more for the community as a whole. And I think that's the most important thing about this program.